In the backyard garden of Intasar Muhammad Atala's West Bank home, she's teaching her grandsons a little about gardening. The Palestinian mother of seven lives in the village of Halhul, known for its delicious grapes. Intasar also grows fruits and vegetables in the backyard, and for about 25 hours each month, she attends training classes, learning about subjects like food preservation, harvesting techniques, and the benefits of compost. And she uh, always did it, uh, do it now and put it on the trees when, when, when uh, they, uh, uh, when it become like uh, mature and put it on the trees. But this is more than a leisurely pastime. It's part of a project aimed at giving poor Palestinians a helping hand instead of a handout. In exchange for attending classes, Intasar gets a food voucher she uses at the local grocery store. It goes a long way in helping her put more food on the family table. Ahmed Mohammed Atash is part of the same program. He and all the men in green vests are working 25 hours a month on agricultural projects, like clearing debris from this road so local farmers can access their fields and animals more easily. The vouchers are used to buy protein-rich foods like fish, eggs, and dairy. All of it is locally grown, packaged, and sold, providing a boost for the local economy. It's a win-win situation for all involved. Uh, I have a big family, uh, and I have uh, students and universities. And through this program, uh, I can pay for my uh, uh, kids' education. This, thank, thank you very much for this. Uh, chance for this uh, uh, opportunity. For more information about this program and others around the world, visit crs.org.